What's good, good people? Welcome to Whole Views. Thank you for clicking the thumbnail. My name is Corey, and today we're going to be talking about that invincible special episode of the Adam Eve origin. So I've never done an actual official video on Invincible. When I went back in my own catalog and I looked at anything that I did talking about it, it was a live stream that I cut the segment off and I just threw it up as its own individual video. And let me say that I should not be doing live videos. There were so many long gaps in everything that I was saying in that video, but I still stand by everything that I said in the moment. And what I said was that Invincible is one of the best animated shows that you will ever watch and uh, that's still true today i think invincible was incredible and i was very much waiting with anticipation to see when we would get something else from that universe and here we are with the first little prequel episode for season two we got adam eve and her origin so she was not one of the characters that i was greatly intrigued with when that first season came on the air all those years ago but I am excited to just get more. And let me say her backstory is incredibly heartbreaking and touching. It's probably one of the cooler origins for a superhero that we've gotten in the last few years, especially a character that's relatively new. You know, there were a, a run of Invincible comics and that thing stood, but to see it get adapted so faithfully to what was done in the comics and seeing that adaptation bringing her whole story to life was really really fire the thing that i feel like invincible as a show did very well and you see it again here with the adam eve origin is that it gives you a good good conflict of interest for all the characters involved right so with the omni-man storyline of him being i think a viltrumite and and really he was sent to conquer but he ends up having a son and he wants his son to grow up and, and join him and and it puts him in a huge conflict of interest because he loves and cares about his son but at the same time he's on a mission as well here the character that you get in that same or similar type of conflict would be the good doctor i think his name was brandywine dr brandywine and he is the person who was tasked with creating a super weapon human in the human form and he creates adam eve inside of what appeared to be just a homeless woman that he found who volunteered for the test but over the course of time he grows a conscience and then he breaks from his government bosses and suffers the consequences and is willing to endure to protect that child which is cool and it puts him in a situation where like i want to be present but i can't be too close i want to see her develop but i can't let myself be discovered because I'm working in the best interest of that person. So it takes the real life human elements of, you know, life and it puts it on these cartoon superhero characters and it just does it so well. And I, I felt it in those moments. You feel it in the conflict between Adam Eve's brothers and sisters, like those counterparts that were developed, but not fully developed, like she was developed and they weren't perfect as she was. And you feel that vitriol that they feel towards her it's like, yeah, that makes sense, especially, you know, given their situation and the way that their life's men are so short and they're deteriorating while she gets to, you know, live the fullness of life on the outside. And it's constantly thrown in their face and their treatment is so horrible. It's like, man, you really feel for all the characters involved outside of the super obvious bad guys played by Lance Riddick, who plays the uh, the government entity in that moment i was like yeah it's cool to hear lance riddick's voice even though we know he's gone uh i even got to play the burning shorts dlc on horizon it's like ah oh, man lance riddick we're gonna miss his voice acting he, he does so much stuff that was so good and you know we're, we're definitely gonna miss it but i felt his presence here and i like the fact that he was the obvious big bad in this situation like he was the one that was driving the the negativity if he would have take him out of the situation uh you wouldn't have had nearly as intriguing of a story you know you, you needed that central evil and he was the central evil in this story on a smaller note i do like the fact that they kind of show you the dynamics of the i get what they call them the hero the world's guardians the guardians or whatever they were they were called you know the heroes of this world their little justice league i i like the way they were presented and shown to you here in this moment and like the team dynamics and and the way people got along and like who was the big guns and like all that stuff was cool to see them pop up. I like the way they answered the question of where was Invincible at the time all this stuff was unfolding and he's still a little kid, no powers in sight. And you see the conflict in Omni-Man and it's angering him that he's not getting 
those powers, but then at the same time, you see the softness come into him like, it's still my son. I still got to give him time. I'm going to be patient and I'm going to wait. And that, that was just a cool moment, you know, just a little, you know, 10 seconds of him on the screen going through the uh, and then chilling out like that stuff was that stuff was cool and it's just a callback to where that season ended season one so i'm very much looking forward to season two let me know if you want me to do like weekly recaps for invincible uh it's something that i'm gonna be on top of as soon as it drops it's not something that i'm gonna like wait and binge it all like nah i'm watching invincible week to week that's gonna be top priority when it drops but let me know if you want to hear more talking about Invincible week to week, or if you just want to see like an overall seasonal review, I'll do one of those too. You know, I, I like the program and I'm, I'm inclined to come back and talk about it with you all. Anyway, that's all I got for this one, y'all. I thought Adam Eve little origin story special was great. And I hope we get more of those as well, like more one shots, because there are some characters that I would like to know some more about. But anyway, I'm out for this one, y'all. Enjoy yourself, guard your heart, go watch something good.